Now, most of you are already familiar with the fight or flight type of response and the fight or flight brain. Uh, this is much bigger than that. Fight or flight is mostly the limbic system, the brainstem type of uh, thing, and it's mostly about the fear and danger. But what we really at the end realize is that, uh, is that there is something much bigger than that, that overall we, call, we ended up calling the uh, survival brain. And what the survival brain is, of which the fight or flight is just a small part, is a part of your brain that is basically tasked with having you survive not just physically, but also emotionally. And as a kid, you actually have a challenge of how do you navigate the challenges, uh, of, uh, the emotional challenges, and survive with your uh, identity intact. And it ends up being something that gets aided by the, this, this region of your brain. The problem with this region of the brain and one of the things that had happened to me, look at the emotions that this region of the brain is capable of producing. When this region of your brain is activated, it, you can't help yourself. You will be feeling negative emotions, not just anxiety, anger, disappointment, but shame, guilt, regret. All of these nasty negative emotions that you feel are emotions that you feel when the survival part of your brain is activated. And of course, by the way, in the book, the, there are a couple of chapters on the, on the, uh, the different brains. So this is, there's a little bit of a generalization here. So it's not all of the left brain. It's part of the left brain. There's a lot more detail to this. But right now, what I'd love for you to pay attention to is that actually there are two brains. The other brain being that uh, what we call the positive intelligence brain, it's an entirely different region. When that region is activated, you feel positive emotions like curiosity, compassion, joy, creativity, peace, calm, resolve, gratitude. When you look at this chart, what immediately strikes you is, if you're in search of happiness in your life, what you realize is happiness is an inside game. If you're able to activate the PQ region of your brain, the positive intelligence or PQ region of your brain, you will be feeling positive emotions that have you feel kind of happy. And uh, even if you're in the middle of a great challenge and a great crisis, the opposite is also true if you happen to be in the middle of paradise, but your survival brain is activated, you can't help yourself, you're going to be feeling negative emotions and not very happy. But it also has a huge impact on performance, and the impact on performance is all the body of research that I was telling you about coming from those four branches of science shows that your peak performance, your highest performance, is, is going to be through the path of positive emotions. Your highest performance comes from the brain that is calm and centered and focused and able to see possibilities and be creative, all of these things happen in the PQ region of the brain, not in the survival brain. So your path to highest performance, and what I call stress-free peak performance, is by learning how to activate the PQ region of your brain. And what had happened to me, one of the things that happened to me uh, in my entrepreneurial meltdown is that what we now know about the survival part of the brain is that it kind of loops on itself. Once you get going, uh, you have an internal loop and an external loop. Negativity creates more negativity. And once you start looping on, on yourself, it's kind of hard sometimes to get out. And I had gotten into a loop based on the stress that the job was creating for me uh, that I had not been able to get out. Stress, by the way, is the key thing, is the key fuel that uh, begins to shift you to the survival part of your brain. And as the survival part of your brain gets going, it, it helps create cortisol, stress hormones, so it actually feeds on the stress. So that's the kind of loop that you get yourself into.